Aloha and welcome back. This is part five in a tutorial series about basic ModX implementation. And what we've done so far is, uh, as a quick overview and to catch us up, um, we've basically taken this HTML uh, template and implemented it into ModX with some basic content areas here and here. Um, we've put uh, some template variables in, in the back end of ModX to add photos and stuff that we want. Um, we've made kind of a custom area that's pulling pages um, and, and the content from those um, pages into kind of like a widgetized area here on the home page, so almost like a blog role but like an information role. Um, and it's pulling titles and photos and we also did the same thing, we made a list of uh, template variables for contact information at the bottom. So we've, we've gone through like some basic implementation and before we get into more complex things, um, I wanted to just do something we hadn't hit yet and that is navigation. And so um, we have on the site like a real nice navigation that has some drop downs and, and um, further drop downs inside of it. And then also when you tuck it up into the mobile, um, you have kind of this nice um, like sidebar, side panel kind of navigation thing happening. So, hey, how do we do that in ModX? Well, it's real simple. Um, we're going to use the most popular navigation package or extra that comes um, or can be installed with ModX, and that's called Wayfinder. And so Wayfinder is a great little um, snippet, um, and it can be downloaded um, in the um, package management area of ModX. And I won't go through that whole thing, but hey, if you go over to the documentation here at rtfm.modx.com and find Wayfinder, it'll tell you the history, the versions, installation, how to download it, all that good stuff. Um, and if we look over in our template, what we see is we have this um, nice, simple... Um, you know, list-based navigation. So unordered list and list items um, here inside of this uh, nav tag. Um, so HTML5 tags are rocking on this on this template. It's really awesome. It has one ID, and the rest of them are just unnamed for the most part. Um, they're just the CSS is just doing the heavy lifting for the unordered list items and the list items themselves. And so um, this is going to be a great testament today about the power of CSS. Um, how you don't have to put extra list items like, hey, this one's going to be class, you know, nav item or something. We don't need to do that. You know, if you if you write proper uh, CSS, um, we don't have, we're not going to have to mess with anything once we get into ModX. It's going to make our job a whole lot easier, and we'll see how that happens. So what we want to do is we want to come over to the documentation, and we're just going to grab this getting started, this minimum Wayfinder snippet call. Okay, Wayfinder is a snippet, and you can find it down here in your snippets. You don't really want to alter it too much because it's already doing such a fantastic job. But what we're going to want to do to get started is if you have clean CSS like this and, and HTML markup, we're going to leave the outer container that declares the navigation and we're going to replace all the unordered lists and list items inside with that basic modx call all right the wayfinder call and so what this is is double bracket wayfinder the uh, question mark is saying hey we're going to have some parameters that come with it and the parameters all start with an ampersand so this is the start id and the level and if i just press save and we go out we're going to lose our our big navigation that we had, the static navigation, and all of a sudden we're going to see two navigation items. Well, let's let's look and see where those are coming from. We go over to our resources tab. We see home and endorsements. We see home and endorsements coming up. Well, where's where's the rest of our navigation that we have here? Well, as uh, we're going to start getting into the parameters here, one of the first ones you'll see is the level. So this is the parameter level. It sets how many levels deep you want to go within your resources tree right uh, in your folder structure here to pick out navigation so what we want to do is if we go to all of a sudden we're gonna see all of these resources or pages inside of the endorsements kinda of come alive and so we're gonna roll over it and bam we have four um, four items that would lead us to those pages um, and of course we haven't changed it on this template so this is our old one right but if we go back we see all four of those um, resources well now we have a a resource that becomes a folder itself, it's going to indent even further. So, hey, let's take the, the level out one further and let's see what happens when we, we refresh and roll over that penguin item. Boom! Now we're, we have the opportunity to list even further down. And hey, if we drop down to the mobile and we, we slide to the right, we're going to see these things kick out perfectly because that's the JavaScript or jQuery and CSS and HTML at work um, doing its job effectively. And ModX is just doing, playing its role in all of that magic. 
So what else do we have going on here? We have the start ID. Start ID is telling us, hey, where do we want to start the navigation from? And so if I picked, you know, I want the navigation to start from the resource number four, Adidas for men, it's going to do just that. Again, it's not in itself a main navigation. So let's do something that makes a little bit more sense. That's the great thing about Monix. It will do exactly what you tell it to do. So if we hit five, that's going to be our endorsements. We're going to start at endorsements, and we're only going to see the stuff that's inside of endorsements. All right. So this is a, a great use case for if you want to create a navigation that only has to do with um, you know, a certain uh, category or a certain type um, or a certain folder that you have, you can make complete Wayfinder structures built off that. So I could come down here and put you know, a Wayfinder call down on my footer and, and do some other stuff. I know I've seen some other people actually use Wayfinder similar to the way we used Get Resources in our last uh, tutorial in video number four um, because it basically does the same thing. It pulls in information. All right, and so a big question that you're probably asking is, well, where is it getting all this information? How does it know that it's an unordered list and list items? Uh, we're going to set this back to zero to get all of our IDs. Well, the, the answer to that is that Wayfinder ships stock by default um, using unordered lists and, and a list-based navigation system. If you want to override that, it's real easy. Um, what we're going to start doing is we're going to set up um, outer templates and inner templates okay so what we want to do is say hey this is this is what the outer template looks like the unordered list again this is a case where we have some more like CSS and classes or IDs on each one of the um, unordered list or list items and then we're dropping hey all the Wayfinder classes and the Wayfinder wrapper okay and then you have of course have an inner TPL or you can go down to the row like hey this is what the row is gonna look like um, and so all this is being done by default inside of um, Mod X, but if you'd like to change it, you absolutely can, all right? Um, here are the parameters, more parameters you can do um, inside of your Wayfinder call. So let's see what they got. We can limit things. We can, um, we can drop the debug in there, and that's going to start debug mode for us. We can hide all submenus, or we can, um, what else could we do? We can include documents inside of it or show the hidden or excuse me ignore hidden files it's right now as it is it's going to show all files you got but you can ignore the hidden ones right so we can configure so much you have so much control over um, you know your navigation you can sort it um, by when it was published or um, the sort order ascending or descending right and so um, that would be giving it the same thing we did with with our get resources call it's going to be um, according to um, the order uh, that I have it in my resources tree, right? Um, what else do we have? Um, we have some different parameters. Um, if you look down for the output, right? So here's the inner TPL um, that we'd want to declare. Um, we also have um, some different uh, parameters for the CSS class names that you can uh, kind of use. Uh, but usually what you're going to use is the inner and outer TPL classes. And um, it's just, man, it's just so simple to do. Um, and they even have some, uh, you know, some examples. Here's an introduct some introductory examples, right? Um, so here's some great little tutorials on how to break down the inner and outer TPL. Um, and so here's a Wayfinder call, and it's starting at a certain you know, template. We're going to replace all this junk, all this static navigation. And so what you'd want to do is say, you know, the row TPL, all right? And so then they're declaring the chunk, the row TPL, to look a certain way. It's a list item, has a link, right? Here's the Wayfinder link that's going to lead to that actual resource. Here's the title and the attributes and the text, all right? Um, you know, and they're, they're, you know, if you visit these examples, they're breaking each one down. And it's really, really easy. But for us, because they're such clean... Um, you know, CSS and HTML over here, we have our basic navigation beginning. So, hey, play with the Wayfinder, check it out. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below this video, and uh, I'll try to get back to you and, and see if I can help you out. So, thanks for watching. Um, you know, good luck out there making navigations. And, and I, I really think, you know, the last comment I have is that this um, is just a great testament to the power of ModX. Um, it, it all depends on the power of your imagination. What do you want to do with your site? 
right? And and it's either um, it's either possible through ModX, or you can build it using ModX, and it saves you time. You don't have to reinvent the wheel, the the wheel. Um, and so, um, yeah. So go out there and build some stuff, and and try some stuff out. Aloha.